guys and welcome back to another video my name is Wills FX and in today's video we will be talking about market structure so for those of you who don't know uh, what market structure is basically uh, by the end of this video you should be able to understand what market structure is types of market structure how to spot market structure and how to understand what market structure is basically saying and how to apply it to your trading um, career or whatever you want to use it for. So essentially in today's video, um, we would be using a comprised PDF that I put together and this PDF contains um, everything that I look into Forex, my approach to Forex, um, trading styles, and essentially this is something that we will be breaking down up on the upcoming series uh, videos. So without um, holding back, let's jump right into the video and let us see what we have for today. So yeah, so market structure, what is market structure? Now we say that market structure is what the swings high and swings lows that points a direction flow of the market. What does that mean? So that means that if the market is essentially going up or going down essentially this is market structure or probably going sideways this is market structure so market structure essentially just help us points what the market is doing okay be able to understand what trend or what flow uh, the market is having in order for us to know what kind of trade we will be looking at so essentially we've got two types of market structure Okay, we got, no, not two types. We've got basically three types, but I tried to regard the last one as um, a contraction phrase. Don't worry, you understand that. So, um, market structure, we got two types. We've got the bullish market structure. So I'm gonna try to zoom this a little bit. Great. So we got the bullish uh, market structure and these basically um, consist of buyers actively buying the market creating higher highs and higher lows in the market structure while potentially breaking um, new highs, okay? So what that means is, um, I'm gonna draw this a little bit down, okay? So what that means is, uh, can I like to zoom this a little bit? Uh, great. So as you can see, this is a PDF uh, bullish, market structure so what that means is price essentially creating lows and creating highs but price fails to create new low that is lower than this previous low but essentially created a new high so what we meant is market structure is going up creating new highs in the market okay new highs and creating lows that are pretty much higher than the previous lows all right that is how to know um, a bullish market structure. So let's go down to the pre to um, the next one. Great. So we got the bearish market structure. What is the bearish market structure? Now we said that the bearish uh, market structure is a market that has full intent of sellers actively selling the market down to discount. This is the result. This results in new swing high being created and previous swing lows, um, lower low being broken while creating new lower uh, swing high. Okay, creating new lower swing high, which is a lower high and sometimes retesting the previous swing high. So what does that mean, a bearish market structure? What does that mean? Well, essentially it means that the market is creating is kind of having this sort of pattern you know creating new lows and creating the lower highs creating new lows and creating lower highs and creating new lows and lower highs and all through all that now as you can see in the picture i'm gonna try to zoom that a little bit cancel great so as you can see here in the picture the market created a new low and gave us a low high. Now, when the market finally came down, it broke this low. Okay, so this is a new lower low and this is a lower high. 
while failing to create a new lower high the market keeps creating lower lows now what does it do again it goes back up creating a lower high and potentially comes down to create a new lower low now that is what the bearish market structure simply means that is what the bearish market sentiment simply means the market ain't going to be um, creating this if it is bearish nope it's going to be creating lows and goes back up to create a lower high and comes down to create a new lower low potentially breaking this um, previous low all right and creating a new low and goes back up to create a lower high and you know that sort of market structure so that is what a bearish market structure simply means and that is how a bearish market structure should behave now this is why i said the uh, two types of market structure because the contraction is also um, a type of market structure but um i don't regard that much because it is kind of a setup don't worry you'll understand when we get further down on the starting lane so let's go a contraction simply means a sideways market now uh, a simple definition would be a manipulated market that ranges sideways while creating equal highs and equal low what does that mean it means that the market simply is not going bearish or going bullish nope it's not giving us any direction inflow it simply means the market is just ranging in a zone creating equal highs and equal lows equal highs and equal lows are um a market sentiment that simply means the market is failing to break and create a new high and also failing to break to create a new low now that is what a contraction in the market simply means all right now when we head further down into the break of market structure this is where it gets really interesting now we said that a break of market structure is what a break of market structure is a sign of possible reversal trend change or a continuation or correction of a current ongoing market or a trend what does that mean it means that when the market is pretty much um i'm gonna go down to here Right, so that means that if the market is pretty much um, bearish, in order for the market to possibly reverse, okay, we need to have a break of market structure. Or if the market is bearish, in order for us to keep going bearish, we also need to be breaking previous lows in the market, all right, to continue our further bearish sign. Same thing with the bullish market trend. If we're going bullish on the market, creating highs, 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 it means that we're breaking market structure, uh, breaking previous highs, and creating new highs for the market to continue going higher. Okay. Now, same thing if the market wants to shift down to um, bearish, you know, it needs to probably break structure, you know, to keep going down and keep creating lows lows and new lows while failing to break the highs this time around now let's jump right back into the pdf and see the types of break of market structure now we said here on our pdf i'm gonna zoom this a little bit now we said on our pdf that we've got a break of market structure can be related to two scenarios we got what we got a reversal break of market structure the BMS means the break of market structure. Okay, so we've got the reversal. And that means that the market simply what? Simply splits off from trending bearish to bullish or bullish to bearish, indicating a possible change of trend. Great. What does that mean? Now, uh, let's say the market was obviously a sec so we said that the market obviously was currently trending down all right now this is the bearish market structure remember a bearish market structure will always keep creating new lows you know breaking this breaking this creating new lows 
new lows and a high that is lower than the previous high, a high that is lower than the previous high. That is what a, uh, a bearish market structure simply means. Now, how do we identify or, or how do we spot a reversal um, break of market structure? Now, obviously, this is a bearish trend. We know that the market is bearish because it's been creating and breaking previous lows, right? These are the lows. Now, unfortunately, it gets really bit interesting because we said that the market splits off from trending bearish to bullish, all right? Now, how does it split? Let's, uh, let me zoom this a little bit. So, check these out. So, in here, we could understand that the market is what the market has been trending bearish, right? But unfortunately, it gave us a low high and came back up and gave us a lower low, breaking these lows. Good. That's to symbolize that the market is still bearish. Now, how do we spot that reversal break of market structure? Now, we understand that this was the previous swing high that was responsible for this swing low. All right, this was our previous swing low that was broken by this um, new swing low. So we understand that this was what a previous swing high, um, a lower high. Now the market eventually did something. It came down, all right, broke these lows and gave us a new lower low. Now it went back up and it came down, but it still failed to break these lows. Now we kept on trending. Now we broke this high, which is not quite significant in my opinion, because um, when we're looking at the break of market structure or when we're looking at market structure entirely, we might want to keep to understand that we only consider this in scenarios. So let's say the market is bearish, all right? Now this high obviously, and this low is our swing lower high and a lower low. Now, when the market came here, it created a new lower high, all right? Now, I'm only going to be considering a break of market structure when the market breaks the high, which is this high, that was responsible for a new low, which is this low, what that means, all right? So, the market was obviously bearish, all right? Now, this was a new swing low, and this was a lower um, lower high, all right? Now, when the market came down, all right, we broke these lows. Now, this high was the high that was responsible for breaking these previous lows. This is the high I want to consider when price eventually goes up to break, should continue my bullish momentum. So this is my significant high that I want to see the break of market structure occur. Okay, same thing with the bullish scenario. If the market is going bullish, okay, this was a low and this was a high. All right, now we had a higher low. All right, and this low was the low that was responsible for this move up that broke this old high. So we got a new high here and we have this low. Okay, so. Let's jump right back into a PDF file and let's um, continue that. Uh, cancel this. Okay, so annotate and I'm gonna clean up everything. Okay. Great, so now that we understand that this was the low, okay, and we have this lower high, the market came down and broke this low so of course, this was the low that was responsible for my new lower low. Now I will be looking for the market structure to break this low. I'm gonna take this out to clear the noise. So I'm gonna wait for market structure to come a little bit higher and break, you know, break this high for me to consider this market to be bullish. Now, of course, there are all the um, um, lower time frame jot down that can definitely give us an entry around here on a trade scenario but what i want you to understand is the break of market structure remember we only consider in a bearish market structure the high that was responsible for the previous low that created a new low to be broken 
okay, for us to consider the market bullish. Now that is a bearish, um, that is a bullish reversal. Now what the market did is after breaking this low, it came down, created a new lower low. Now it failed to break this low. Now we started trending and finally we broke and we came down a little bit and there we go. We got a new swing high in the market. The market structure shifted from bearish to being bullish. That is a break of market structure. Okay, that is a reversal break of market structure. So now um, let's go to a bearish break of market structure. Great, so same thing with the bullish market structure. Um, same thing that happened, we, this market was currently going bullish. Okay, it was bullish, all right? But unfortunately something happened. Now this was the swing low, all right? That was responsible for the swing high. Now what happened? The market unfortunately went up and came down. Now see what happened? It is failing to create a new swing high. Remember, for a bullish market structure to continue, we would need the market to do what? Keep breaking previous highs. Keep breaking previous highs. Keep breaking previous highs. Now I'm gonna go back to that and explain something real quick. So annotate and clear up everything, great. So. Now. For us to consider a reversal break of market structure, like I said, on the bearish trend, we want to be looking at the previous lows being broken, all right, for a previous, for a, a bearish trend. Now, a reversal, what we want to be looking at is this lows, all right, and this high, all right, because this high was responsible for this low being broken and created a new lower low. Now, what we want to see for the market to turn bullish is for this market to come down a little bit. Now, remember, of course, the market, when it goes up, should come down. When it goes up, should come down. Okay, comes down, should goes up on a bearish, comes down, goes up. Now, in order for us to um, shift our bias or trend off, in order for us to understand that the market has finally shifted market to another trend or reversed, we need for price to protect the previous lows, which is this low, this new lower low. We need price to protect it and not break it. So essentially we want the market to do something like this, comes down to create a lower low, all right, and goes up, comes down and protect it. All right, then goes up again and comes down. Now, here the market structure has finally chipped it because what we got is we got a lower low and we got a lower high. All right, then we got a higher low. All right, now we're still not fully bullish. The reason is because we probably still not um, broken this yet. Remember, we only consider the high that was responsible for the previous um, lower low that was broken to create a new lower low, okay, which is this old low was broken by this move down that created this lower low. So if the market is trending like this, all right, we want the market to break this high. And when it does and finally comes down, we want to be looking for a possible change and um, a bias to reverse up. Now that is um, from bearish reversal to a bullish reversal. Now, how about if the market is going bullish? Now, let's say the market is going bullish, creating a low and a high, a higher low, and the market moved up and broke these highs came down and keeps breaking highs and going up. Very good. It's a bullish sign because it's breaking previous highs, previous highs. Okay, now when the market eventually comes to a setting point, it's created um, a high high 
or a new high or a new swing high. Now it comes down and it goes up, but it fails to break the new swing high. Remember, for a bullish market structure to continue, we need the highs to be broken. Now, unfortunately, when this market finally came down and went back up, it failed to break uh, the highs and it came down shortly. And when it went up, we should be expecting to sell the market. Reason because, well, we got the market failing to create a new high high, you know, to continue a bullish scenario. That is one. Now the market broke this low that was responsible for this swing high in the market. So this low that was broken is a bearish break of market structure that could signify a potential reversal. Now, when the market eventually breaks this low, what we would be expecting is for the market to come a little bit higher to create a what? A lower high, okay? To create a lower high and to potentially keep breaking the lows and a bearish market structure continues. Okay, great. Great. So that is what we should be looking at for a break of market structure. Now, to the chat, we could understand that um, the market was trending bullish. Okay. Now we created a swing high. We came down, went up, failed to create a new swing high, came down and started creating swing lows until we finally broke here. All right. We broke here and we came down and created a lower low. And finally, we sprang back up to create a lower high. All right. And finally, we came down. This is a bearish. See how the market's now breaking. All right, let me take everything out a little bit quick. Now, see how the market start breaking the lows, breaking lows, hoping to break the lows. Okay, while in this scenario, the market is breaking highs, breaking highs, breaking highs, highs, fail to break the high, something like this will be bullish. But fortunately, the market's on bearish when it went up and failed and started breaking lows. All right, so great. Now, let's jump further. Continuation, now what is continuation? We say that continuation, a close above previous swing high. Remember, we're talking about um, um the break of market structure and we say we got two types we got reversal and we got continuation now the first one we talked about was reversal now this is continuation now we say that a continuation is a close above previous swing high in a bullish market structure to create a new swing high 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 to indicate that the buyers are still involved in the market or a bearish scenario would be a break below previous swing low to create a new swing low, a lower low. What does that mean? Now, I think I explained that previously. It simply means that um, it means that the market is bearish. The market keeps breaking the lows, lows while failing to break the highs. Okay, the highs, new lows. Eventually, when it breaks the highs. We should be expecting a bullish market structure, which is a reversal. This is a reversal. Shift from bearish to bullish. Okay. Great. Now, the continuation simply means that the market keeps breaking the lows, lows, lows. This simply means that. Um, the sellers are still involved. You don't want to be buying the market here. Potentially, you could be buying the retrace back to create a lower high and the sell off to create a new lower low. Okay, you could be buying, but I would, you know, be sticking to your trend if you're not putting up to, to that. But eventually, this is how the market should go if it is bearish. Now, same thing with the bullish. The market should be breaking the highs. 
creating new high highs, creating new high highs, break of market structure, creating new high highs. Okay, why protecting the lows? Why protecting these lows, these lows, these lows, these lows? Okay, now in um in scenarios like I said previously, in scenarios where we got something like this. Okay, this shouldn't be confusing because we still have these lows being protected. All right, this was the low that broke this high, the previous um, old highs. So we're still bullish. Same thing with the bearish scenario. We forgot something like this. Okay, remember swing high that, that broke these lows. Okay created a new lower low, did not break, see, let me try to rule it quick, see, it did not break, came down and we broke these lows, created a new swing low, and a little bit minor low high, and we broke structure again, this is still a bearish market structure, okay, friend, so, let's jump down to, all right, so, same thing on the chart here. This was the swing high that broke these lows. All right, so the market came down and went up. We have a new lower low and came down and went up. A new lower low and came down. Now, like I, I said previously, the market eventually went back up. All right, now we broke these highs we broke these highs and we broke these highs. Now, probably on the lower time frame, you would notice that there is a minor structure here and a low and a, um, a higher low here and a higher low here and something like that. But eventually the market pushed higher. We broke these highs. Okay. And came down a little bit and it went up and we broke this significant high. All right. So you could say that this move down here was just a complex move to break um, to break this swing high because I said something um, earlier. I said something earlier. So I said, well, if the market is, um, I said, if the market is bearish and if it comes down and does something like this, comes down, it's still bearish because we got this swing high. We protected that broke this low, and that is what is happening here. Low, this high broke it, so we got a lower low here. All right, and we went up and broke this high, and we came down, and we create uh, created a higher low, and we pushed higher. All right, great. So. Let's move up. Bearish break of market structure. Bearish break of market structure continuation. All right. So this was a bullish, right? This was bullish, right? Great. Now this is bearish. So. Bearish, what we're looking for bearish. Now bearish is the market is coming down. Simply, this low is broken, this low is broken. These highs kept, these highs kept. If the market does something like this and comes down, great, this high has been kept and this is a lower high, not a new swing high. All right, not a new swing high. So we're still bearish, okay? So, liquidity great now liquidity is going to be for the next video like i said this pdf will be dropped on the link on the description below so you might want to download it and probably um get more acquainted to it before our next before the next video so quick recap market structure we said that the market structure is what points the direction of flow of the market right so 
if the market is creating lows, if we have this kind of symbol or if we have this kind of style or pattern in the market, it simply means that the market is bearish. And if we have something like this, where the market is creating new highs and breaking it, it is a bullish market structure, which we should be participating in the buys because the buyers are actively participating in the market. Now, we also say that the market structure can also um, contract or consolidate or move sideways, which means it's creating equal highs. Sorry about that. It's creating equal highs and equal lows, a manipulation from the operators or from the institution to trap traders. Great. And we also got the break of market structure. All right. We got the break of market structure. We got the reversal break of market structure, like I said. Um, where is that? Yes, the reversal break of market structure where the market shifts from going bearish to bullish or going bullish to bearish. All right, simply breaking the lows that was responsible for the highs. Okay, and on a bearish um, price breaks the highs that's what's responsible for breaking the previous lows and creating the new lows. So how to trade it? Um, that will be on the next video where I will be breaking down the market concepts more um, on that. Now remember continuation is also the same thing, creating new lows while breaking previous lows and on the bullish market structure, creating new highs while breaking previous highs. And the contraction is just a sideways manipulation from the operators. Now, that will be all for today. Do study and try to download the PDF uh, file and try to study beforehand. Now, if this video um, gave you something, try to like this video and try to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. And we will be meeting you next on the next video that talks about liquidity. All right, so peace out and have a nice study.